Hey everyone, welcome to The Decorative Den. My name's Charity and I'm so happy you're here today. The Decorative Den is a look inside my craft room where I share all things crafting, planning, and DIY. And in today's video, I am going to be sharing a flip through of my winter slash Christmas setup in my A5 disc bound planner. I absolutely love how this setup turned out. It is total pastel Christmas goodness. So if you are interested in seeing what all I have going on in here, then just keep watching. Okay, so starting with the outside of my planner, my cover is the same as it's been pretty much all year long. This is the junior size notebook from the Martha Stewart Office Collection at Staples, and this is her gray color. Even though it's kind of a warm tone gray, I would call it more of a, a tan or a taupe color. And so I have that cover, and then I am using these one inch aluminum rose gold discs from Levenger. These are my favorite discs ever. They are so smooth. They make turning the pages so easy and they are totally worth the investment. Um, so I am very happy to have these discs back on my planner. And then the other thing I have that you can see are just these two little star charms. These were freebies that came with some orders I placed with the Etsy shop two weeks on Mars. And I really love these. I thought these were subtle and perfect for this setup since I am doing a mixed metal setup with both rose gold and gold metals. But yeah, that's everything going on on the outside. Let's jump in and I will show you what all I have on the inside of this planner. All right, so here's what it looks like when I open up my planner, and I just love that right off the bat, you see all the mixed metals, you see the pastel colors, and definitely, I think, get the Christmas theme. Um, so we're gonna start over here with the pocket side, and this planner cover has these three credit card slots in the front. And so for these, I just layered in three pieces of craft paper. Um, all of the craft paper I use in this setup is from two different craft pads or those paper pads from Michaels. And so I took um, just some paper and cut it down and then rounded these top corners and layered it in these three front pockets to kind of give like a color palette or a sense of the overall color theme of this setup. And then on top of those, I just layered a few die cuts and a clip. So the first one is this absolutely adorable die cut from the shop Stinkin' Happy on Etsy. And this is her blushy character. I love this little Christmas blushy holding her present. This shop used to be a shop that sold physical items, but now I believe it is just a digital shop. And so I think you can download this artwork if you are interested in adding this to your own planner. So I keep that there. In the next pocket, I have this really cute embroidered clip from the shop Sweet Ava's Paper. And this is on a gold paper clip, this really pretty like coppery rose gold coffee cup. I really love this, especially like warm beverages is something I think about a lot in winter and Christmas. So I think this just fits perfectly here. And I do put that on a little piece of scrap paper to help secure it in the pocket. And then up here in the front, I have another die cut. Of course, Baby Yoda. <laughs> I, like the rest of the internet, am totally obsessed with this little guy. And so I saw that Fox and Cactus had um, digital artwork of Baby Yoda holding a little Starbucks drink. I like to pretend it's hot chocolate with whipped cream. Um, so I got that and printed that out so he can just sit right here in the front of my planner. And then behind all of that, in this main pocket, I have a few things. So first I have this nice sheet of craft paper, and I really love this quilted pattern with the little pink snowflakes as an accent. So I think that adds just a really nice pop of color in the inside pocket here. And then 
in front of that, in this pocket, I also keep just a couple sheets of stickers that have a like Christmas theme. And so I like to keep these up front just so I have easy access to them and can use them in any of my winter or Christmas spreads. But that's everything in the pocket. On the opposite side here, I've started this planner, like many of my setups, with a mood board. And so on top of my mood board, I've layered this really beautiful gold bowl gold bow <laughs> foil acetate. Um, and this is from the shop Harriet Wright Designs. Then Behind that, I have another layer. So this is a sheet of vellum. Um, this has been in, I think, almost all of my setups for this planner, but it's this really pretty like watercolor marble pattern. And I loved it over this mood board I made because I feel like it makes it look like it's a frosted window, kind of iced over. So I have that. And then you get to my actual mood board. And so this just has, I think, all things pastel winter. So we have some presents, hot chocolate. I love these rose gold jingle bells. And I tried to make everything that same pastel pink, nice shades of green and white. And I make these mood boards with just using a program like Microsoft Word, Microsoft Publisher, or PowerPoint. You could do it in any of those. Um, if you don't have Microsoft, you can do something like this in Google Docs as well. And all I do is I download photos from shops, or not shops, um, websites like Pexels and Unsplash that offer free stock photos. And so I just download them and then kind of crop them and arrange them in the Word program to make this. So I really love how that turned out. The back side of this dashboard is my washi dashboard. I feel like I cannot have a setup without one of these. And I really love how this one turned out. So this one just has three different washi tapes on it. The first being this really nice five millimeter green washi that has some gold pine trees on it. And I believe this came in just a Michaels washi tube. The next one is this beautiful solid rose gold washi. I love this washi. I feel like it is sparkly and shimmery without being sparkly, if that makes any sense at all. Um, but this is also from just another uh, washi like tube or variety pack. I believe the brand for this one is American Crafts. And then finally, I have this beautiful sweater patterned or knit patterned bow washi from the Pink Room Co. And so for these sections in this planner, I'm going to try not to spend too much time in each because in general, things have not really changed since my fall setup. So I will link that above in case you would like to watch that to see kind of in detail what's in each of these sections. But I'm going to try today to kind of just go through them quickly. We'll see how that goes because I love to talk, but <laughs> I'm going to try to go quickly. So for this section, um, this starts with just a visual picture of my goals for the year. So I'm going to need to update that soon for 2020. And then I also have a year at a glance calendar. This is from the shop PT Paper Printables on Etsy. And that brings us to our next dashboard. Oh, this one might be my favorite dashboard of the whole planner. Um, and so it starts with this beautiful quote, running on hot cocoa and Christmas cheer. And this is a quote that I got from the shop ruffles and rain boots. So she offers a lot of digital artwork and quotes, um, all like SVG and PNG files and you need to check this site out, especially if you have a cutting machine and are able to cut things out on like a Cricut or something like that because she constantly has free quotes available and like a huge variety of them. So this was one of the free quotes she had available and I just cut that out on some white vinyl and I stuck it to this really awesome piece of vellum and I love this. I got this at Joann Fabrics and I think the little white polka dot pattern just looks like falling snow and so it is so perfect for a winter setup. And I layered that over this dashboard. So this is this pink paper from a Michaels paper pad and then on top of that I layered 
a dashboard from the Digital Dash Box by Planner Press, the set from last December. So December 2018, this was one of the dashboards that was available. And um, I just love this, this girl with her hot cocoa. I used this in my last winter setup and I needed it again this year. And so to mix it up a little, this time I printed it at about 80%. Um, so instead of doing like print actual size, I scaled it to 80%. So that way I could center it on this really pretty pink paper. And then behind that on the back side, I have this paper that has like a fur print on it, which is really, I feel like just gives me warm and snuggly feelings. And then to add a little interest on the edge here, I layered two pieces of washi, the first being bow washi from the Pink Room Co. And then that same solid rose gold washi that I used on my washi dashboard. So love that. And then this section is my monthly section. And so I am still using my monthlies from Jesenia Printables. I'll just open up and show you what these look like. So this is what this insert looks like. Um, and for all of my sections, I have these little bow tabs. I have used these before. If you've seen my spring setup, you've seen these before. But these little bows are sticker tabs you can get from Planner Press, and I'll actually show you what they come as. So this is what the sheet looks like, and you have these bow tabs that you take off and then fold over on themselves. And so they're made to fold on the edge of your paper and use as tabs in your planner. What I like to do is fold them over on themselves and then laminate them, and then I cut down the laminated material to the size that I need it and just punch it and then use it as a bookmark. And so I really love these. I think they're beautiful and really functional, and they've also held up well for being in multiple setups. But that is everything in that section. That brings us to our next dashboard, and this one has another awesome quote from Ruffles and Rain Boots. Sorry guys, I feel like every single one of my dashboards has fuzz stuck to it. <laughs> That's probably because I was making this setup while wearing a really fuzzy sweater. Um, <laughs> so just, you know, don't mind me cleaning each dashboard as we get to it. But this one, like I said, is another quote from Ruffles and Rain Boots. I really love this farm fresh Christmas trees. And then I put that on a piece of acetate that I just layered over this really cute piece of paper. And I love that it has the pine trees on the bottom. I think it works really well with this little quote. And then sticking with the tree theme, the back of this dashboard just has this really cute patterned paper um, with various different winter trees on it. And so that brings us to my weekly section. And this has remained exactly the same as well. So in this I use, let's see open to it. I use another printable from Jessenia Printables. This is a week on two pages one from her. I think she calls this her like weekly short or something like that and it is under the A5 rings section. I really love this and it's been super functional for me as a memory planner and so moving into 2020 this is going to be again just my memory planner for the year and I will be using these inserts still. I I think the boxes are enough space to write down what I did each day and then I love that it has this large box here for me to write like a thankful thought and do some gratitude journaling for each week. But yeah, that is all that is in my weekly section. Moving on to my next dashboard. So are you noticing a theme here? I have another vinyl quote from Ruffles and Rain Boots. I'm telling you, she had so many good free Christmas quotes and Christmas um, images that I just, I went ham and downloaded so many of them. But this one says, let it snow in this gorgeous script. And I added that to another piece of that really pretty vellum that just looks like falling snow. And I layered that over this dashboard with really cute, just winter gear, mittens, hat. Um, I thought this would be a really nice dashboard, especially to keep past Christmas, because it's not specific to the Christmas season. 
On the back side of that, I have another pattern paper, and I really love this one. This is, I think, one of the only dashboards that I really bring in a lot of those bolder colors, so having like the dark browns and deep blues. And so I like having this just to add a little pop since the rest of my dashboards are pretty pastel and lighter looking. And then this section is my list and log section. And guys, this section I feel like is always a hot mess. It was a hot mess back in um, September when I filmed my fall setup and I said I was gonna add things to it and fix it and I haven't. So <laughs> this section is still kind of a hodgepodge of things. Um, keeping track of open orders, having um, my Tombow swatches here so I know which brush pens I have. And then of course I have these inserts from Jessenia Printables. These are her bow list inserts. And I just use these theoretically, I should say, to jot down like shopping lists or things to remember. And there's so many inserts I really want to add to this section. And so I am making it a focus for 2020 to improve my list and log section. Um, so we'll see if that happens. <laughs> But then that brings me to my last dashboard and my last section. So this one starts with a, another one of those pieces of acetate from Harriet Wright Designs, her beautiful foiled bows. Um, and this one is rose gold, which I thought paired so well with this really pretty art print from the artist Holly Nichols. She is on Etsy and this actually, I believe was a free download she offered last Christmas. She has a really awesome thing. If you go to her Instagram page, um, I believe her name is just Holly Nichols and she has a email list now that you can subscribe to and you get free items on Fridays. So sometimes they're things like wallpapers for your computer and cell phone. Sometimes it's things you can print out, um, but that's really awesome because she is a really amazing artist. And I thought this warmed my heart with the different various, you know, the tea, hot cocoa and coffee was just so perfect for the holidays. And on the back side of that, I have my little shout out to New Year's Eve because I feel like no holiday season is complete without New Year's. That is definitely, I think, like the end of the true holiday season and definitely worth celebrating. So on here, I have this really awesome piece of paper from Michaels and I love that it has these gold foil stars. I don't really know if you can see those well. I'm not sure how well my camera's picking it up. But I have those and then on that I centered this awesome dashboard. This is another one from the Digital Dash Box by Planner Press. I believe this was her January 2019 dash box. She did all New Year's themed um, and so I really love this one. It just says ring in the new year. Totally perfect I think to end my dashboards in this setup. And then this section here is just my notes section. So this is where I keep things like extra notebook paper. Um, and I think something to note is, although I do call this my A5 disc bound, when you buy this planner from Martha Stewart, it comes with this notebook paper. And this notebook paper is actually half letter size. So half letter size paper, as you can see, I'll compare, is slightly thinner than the A5. Um, and so I really like A5 in this planner because it fits well and also it um, gives me a little extra room for planning and decorating. But just in case you were wondering, this is what the half letter paper looks like that comes with the actual Martha Stewart planner if you're thinking of getting it. And then behind that, I have my just little piece of laminated material that I attach my charms to. And then this planner does come with a really nice clear back pocket. And so in that, I just stuck this piece of green paper that has some white sparkly snowflakes on it. And I like to add a piece of paper in the back here because when my pages are down, you can see a small strip of it. And so I think it just really adds a nice fun pop of color to the edge of the planner. So I have that and in this setup, I also layered in here a journaling card from the Coffee Monsters Co. And I love this one. This is 
not Christmas themed, but I feel like this is absolutely who I am during the holidays. I have the best intentions on days like Black Friday to buy gifts for everyone. And then I just accidentally end up buying a ton of stickers. <laughs> Um, so this is me and my Black Friday purchases, just endless stickers. <laughs> um, and then on the back of that, I just have this really silly greeting card, which has a picture of a squirrel holding wine. This has nothing to do with Christmas or winter. I just keep it in the back of my planner because it makes me happy. <laughs> And then you can see the back of this has that Martha Stewart logo and a pen loop, which I keep my Sharpie fine point pen in. This is my favorite pen to use in my inserts. But yeah, guys, that will do it for this flip through. I really hope you enjoyed this setup and maybe found some inspiration for your own planners moving forward. Um, I really had a lot of fun making this setup and I always have fun sharing them with you. If you liked this video, please hit the like button for me so I know and I will make more videos like this in the coming year. In general, please subscribe if you are interested in crafting, planning, or DIY videos. And I guess, guys, I will not see you until next year. I think with the holidays, I probably won't be able to get another video out until after New Year's. So I'm wishing you all a really happy and healthy holiday season. I hope you all have a wonderful new year, and I will catch you in 2020. Bye, guys!